we have hands on the new Griffin Armament Sportsman's Ultralight HD 30 cal as well as the 36 cal. This video, we're gonna be using the 30 cal and talking about this a little bit, talking about the specs of both and really just kind of giving you guys our first thoughts on these because we were lucky enough to get our hands on them pretty quick. So starting us off, I wanna go over some of the specifications. Again, me and my family are still fairly new to the whole suppressor game, but thankfully over to the guys at Griffin and talking to a lot of our friends and family, we've been able to learn more and understand threads and baffles and everything else so much more. And we, we appreciate everybody giving her their input, but we're still learning. So I'm gonna go over some of the specs here and I'm just gonna read them off coming straight from Griffin Armament. What we have for the Sportsman's Ultralight HD 30 cal, there's two variants again, 30 and 36. This is the 30 cal. We're at a weight of 12 ounces with your direct thread insert. The length is 6.9 inches with a direct thread insert. The, it is hub compatible, so when they say that, it's a 1.375 by 24 thread pitch for the rear mount. So right here, this mount, they of course have their proprietary muzzle brake that you can get a mount for and it screws onto any of your guns, which is incredible. But also, they have it now, so you can, whether whatever system you're coming from, if you have different cans already, this system will have an adapter for it so you can use it across your guns without messing around with different muzzle brakes, without messing up anything that you have already on your guns. It's pretty slick if I do say so myself. Going over to the Sportsman Ultralight HD 36 caliber, the second of the variants, our weight is at 12.3 ounces, which is only 0.3 ounces heavier than this 30 cal. We're again at 6.9 inches with a direct thread insert, and then that one is also hub compatible, meaning, again, it has a variety of different adapters that will work with this can, no matter what system you're coming from. Now, this is probably the part that most of you guys have been waiting for, the price. This suppressor is made by hunters for hunters, and it's priced competitively, especially for people like us, where maybe we don't have the budget to go buy these premium, more expensive, whatever it might be, suppressors. This 30 cal can is coming at, in at $600 MSRP. This 36 cal will be $650, so $50 more. Of course, you'll be able to order your mounts and everything else for it, your muzzle devices, when you're ordering the can, which you can do on Griffin's website. They have their two-year door program, which is awesome. We're going through it right now, and we'll have another video if it's not out already by the time this video comes out, which will be explaining kind of how to do that. But it's literally, as it's stated, it's a two-year door program where they, you go online, you go on their website, you'll fill out some stuff, you'll talk to Capital Armory as well, which uh, Griffin Armament's working with to partner to make this program come to you. And after filling out, going through the couple easy steps that they have, your suppressor gets dropped off at your door with a signature required. That being said, again, the price on this is just phenomenal. After your $200 tax stamp, after everything else that's gonna go into play, you're still probably not gonna be pushing but maybe $1,000 which is for a suppressor setup, especially for hunting, a lightweight can like this, it's not huge, it's not crazy. The sound suppression on this can is amazing, we've shot it. This is our 300 Win Mag. This is Aubrey's, actually let me phrase that. This is Aubrey's 300 Win Mag. We call it Winnie. <laughs> we've got our Cabela scope on here. We're getting it all ready for Alaska for our DIY moose hunt. Um, if you guys wanna see more on that, we'll have more coming at you very soon if it's not up already. But, I mean, as you, a lot of you probably know, a 301 mag, is a, it's a big round, it's a loud round, and I mean, it, it packs a punch. But with everything we've tested, with everything we've done so far, this can not only reduces your recoil, of course, because you have your muzzle brake, including your baffles in there, which will help with recoil, but also, not that everybody will agree, but this can will bring it down to an ear safe level. Because if you're shooting a 301 mag, especially if it's multiple times, setting it in, whatever it might be, you're gonna, you can damage your ears very quickly. This not only makes it to where you're not gonna damage your ears, we've been shooting it for a while now. I haven't used Ear Pro. I'm also probably going deaf from when I was young shooting guns without Ear Pro for a while there, which I don't recommend. Wear Ear Pro, wear Eye Pro. Stay safe whenever you're shooting, whatever you can do to avoid any issues for yourself then or in the future, I recommend it. That being said though, especially while hunting for not only game reasons for your ears for your friends or family, maybe your kid if you're hunting with them, their ears. It's gonna help out in so many different ways, as well again as the additive bonus of recoil reduction. It helps just in so many ways. So that being said, that's pretty much all the tech specs and our kind of first review on it. We're gonna take this can to Alaska with us, Aubrey and I, and we're gonna, we're gonna put it 
through the field test. And when we get back, we'll let you guys know kind of what's, what's our official thoughts on it after our first hunt with it, which we are super stoked for, but really, I don't, I don't see us having an issue with this one. Four hunters, buy hunters. What more can you ask?